Hi there, I'm Erman from Analyzeify team. This is our Google Tag Manager data analytics video series for Shopify stores. This will be the very first video of our comprehensive and actionable Google Tag Manager video series. We won't just cover how to place the GTM container into your Shopify store. We will go further and we will create a complex data analytics setup for your store. This 40 minutes course is specifically prepared for Shopify stores. So all that you will learn here will be actionable. In this video, I'm going to give you a high level overview of Google Tag Manager, also known as GTM, how you can use it, why it is important, and how you can level up your Shopify store's data analytics setup using it. Let's get started. Let's look at the board and try to understand how an ideal web data analytics structure should be. As you can see in this diagram, the Shopify store pushes the data to the data layer. What I mean here by data is, for instance, if it's a product page, the product name, the category, the product ID, if there's a variant, variant ID, and so on. So all of them are the important pieces of data that the third parties, such as Facebook Pixel, Google Ads, Google Analytics, are interested in. That's why we need to access that data. And that is what a data layer does. The store pushes the relevant data into data layer. So the GTM here is able to read the data layer and also process the data within that. A quick example of how it will work. The user visits the product page. The product's relevant data pushed into data layer. The GTM read the data layer and GTM sent this product view event into Google Analytics, Google Ads, Facebook and other resources. This is pretty much how it works at the most basic level. The reason we are a big fan of GTM is, in the past, this could be a very time-consuming process. For instance, the marketer or the store owner needs a code pushed into the website. The marketer would tell that to a developer. Developer would take his time and then push the code to the website. Marketer needs to go and test it. Most probably there would be a lot of back and forth. But at the moment, using the GTM, we only place the GTM's code to website only once. And then we don't need to touch the code at all. Once the GTM and the data layers are in the place, the marketer, the store owner, or whoever is in charge can do these things without the help of the developer by themselves. Now let's make the example more actionable. What does a Shopify store need as a marketing or tracking snippet? Google Analytics, Universal Analytics and Google Analytics for at the same time, Google Ads, conversion codes, remarketing tags and all the other Google Ads tags, Facebook Pixel, Facebook Pixel Global Tag to be triggered in all pages and also Facebook Pixel Purchase Conversion Tracking Tag to be triggered in the thank you page and Hotjar, Clavio and all the other third-party tools that you use. So we need to insert all these snippets into our store. What we will do is once the GTM snippet is installed, we will go to Google Tag Manager and set these as tags and then triggers as conditions. What does that mean? It means Google Analytics global tag should be triggered in all of the pages. So you just add the tag and then the trigger to the all pages. Another example, Google Ads conversion tracking code should only be triggered in the thank you page. So you just add the tag and then add the trigger as thank you page. If all this confuses you, don't worry, we are going to do all of them step by step in the following section of these courses. And each of these tags will need different variables inside. For example, Facebook Pixel purchase tracking tag will want to know the revenue. What will happen is GTM will go and read the revenue from the data layer and push it to the Facebook Pixel. So this is how Google Tag Manager works with the marketing and tracking pixels. A few other important reasons to use Google Tag Manager, except for the ease of deployment tags. You do not need a developer. All of these processes are happening quite fast. You have an amazing debug tool, test tool within the GTM, so that you can test everything within minutes, 
and you can see if all the tags and triggers are working as you expect. You have a central management system for all of your tags, for the same store, or even for many stores or for many websites if you have. Google Tag Manager is completely free to use and it also has an amazing community behind. You will find so many tutorials on YouTube and so many articles and so many courses. It has a version history. Every change you or someone else does in Google Tag Manager is recorded. And of course, there is also a user collaboration. So you can invite a third person to manage your Google Tag Manager account too when you need any help or when you need a third look. Last but not least, it helps with the website speed. If you were to add all these tags one by one into your store, it would have been a very heavy load. But Google Tag Manager will only be one small snippet and all of your tags will be triggered through that, so you will save a lot of page speed score. In the next video, we will set up GTM on our Shopify store and also in the checkout pages. As the next step, we will visit Google Tag Manager Essentials such as Tags Triggers and we will also add Google Analytics 4 and Universal Analytics Code through Google Tag Manager. In the fourth and probably the most important video, we will create data layer elements for our Shopify store and then Google Tag Manager will be able to read them and process those information. Also, we will be working on some custom variables and custom triggers through GTM. Later on, in the last videos, we will do the final actions by setting up conversion trackings and e-commerce trackings for our Shopify store.